Hi, I'm Matthew Blake. And I'm Austin Blake. And, and you are watching This Week in Mountain Athletics. Once again, I'm senior Matthew Blake. And I am freshman Austin Blake, and we are members of the Mount St. Mary's men's tennis team and your host for the week. We would like to welcome everyone to the third edition of this week in Mount Athletics. Philadelphia may be known as the city of brotherly love, but here at the Mount, it's all about family. When you mean family, do you mean a little brother that follows you around everywhere and tries to be just like you? I mean, I finally got rid of you for three years at the Mount, but now you are back. At least I got the looks of the family. Wait a second, here everyone knows that I have the looks of the family. Maybe we should let the Mount the fans decide who is the better looking Blake. You are right, and maybe the Mount fans should know that as a kid, you used to dress up as a girl. Well, if you were going to play that way, then maybe the Mount fans should know that as a kid, you used to suck your thumb all night. You know the Mount fans are not watching the show to see us squabble. So maybe we should start the show and talk about our team, who started this year at the Mount St. Mary's Invitational this weekend. You know that's a good place to start, and I think that the Mount fans would like to know that I had a bigger group of fans than you did at the event. That's it, now you're going to get it. This might be a good time for Matthew to recap this week's action on the courts for our team. The Mount men's tennis team had a good weekend, led by the Blake brothers. I won the Flight A singles title to repeat as a champion of the Mount St. Mary's Invitational Flight A. I also won the event in 2010 and advanced to the title match last year before it was canceled due to the weather. My brother Austin made his collegiate debut in Flight C and battled senior Taylor Place for the title. Austin won in the Mount Battle to claim the title, while senior Mike Solomon finished third in Flight B action. Place and I also advanced to the doubles Flight A title match. Do you think that you can put yourself together to talk about the women's tennis team, or do you think I don't have to call mom? Yes, I'm good now. On the women's side, sophomore Jenny Smith won the Flight C singles title. In doubles, senior Carly Landini and junior Liz Rossi teamed up to win the Flight B doubles championship. Sophomore Taylor D'Agostino finished second in Flight D singles. This weekend at the Mount St. Mary's Invitational, the men's tennis team started off very well. Every member on the tennis team won at least one match, and it was special to me because it was my first collegiate competition. I'm looking forward to the next tournament that is coming up at George Mason this weekend. I completely agree with my brother just said, and this being our first tournament, we were just looking forward to going out and playing again after taking the whole summer off. Um, as it was our first tournament, we all played phenomenally well, while at the same time, uh, we sure found out exactly what each and every one of us need to improve on. And that's what we're gonna take advantage of this week to work out the kinks in our game and hopefully come back better than ever 100% at George Mason this weekend. We were not the only team that was home and had some success this weekend. Here's Matthew to catch you up on the Mount women's soccer team. In its final game before the start of the NEC slate, the Mount's women's soccer team defeated VMI 4-1 on Friday night. Senior Kelly Baker notched her second two-goal performance under the lights of Waldron on Friday against the Keydets. Junior Carrie Ann McGettigan capped off a three-goal first half by the Mount with her first tally of the season, while freshman Sam Manson notched her first career goal and senior Carly Deegan notched her first career assist on the play in the second half. Freshman Rachel Bourne and Vicky Kokoza combined for their first collegiate shutout, while the Mount defense held VMI to only one shot. Here are some thoughts from the team about the match and moving forward to league play. Yeah, I mean, we've asked a lot of these girls this past week. We played four games in seven days, and to come three and one out of that out of that was fantastic. I talked to the girls a little bit um, this week and said, you know, that our expectations were to be four and zero. Um, three and one, certainly nothing to sneeze at, and being four and three heading into conference play is something we're really proud of. Um, definitely going four and three into conference is a great feeling. It's really good motivation going into conference, but we got a lot of work to do, and we're excited excited for conference. The Mounts men's soccer team also played a pair of matches this weekend, and here is a special report to catch you up on the action. The Mount men's soccer team lost 2-0 to Lafayette on Saturday and then rebounded for a 1-0 win against Howard on Tuesday night. Sophomore Matthew Steele scored the game-winning goal in the 42nd minute off an assist from junior Patrick Wheeler. Graduate student Peter Steve made three saves in the contest. 
It is now time to announce the Mount Athlete of the Week, and it is only fitting that the smartest and best looking Blake be named that, and that would be me. Wait, what? As you heard earlier, Matt won his second Mount St. Mary's Invitational title over the weekend. Matt defeated Bucknell's Octavio Kenebi 7-6-6-2 in the championship. We have lots of events this week, but they will all be on the road. The next home game in Emmitsburg will be the Mount Women's Soccer Team against Fairleigh Dickinson on September 28th. The Mount Women's Soccer Team will open up league play at St. Francis, PA on Friday and will also travel to Delaware State on Sunday. The Mount Cross Country Teams will travel to the Towson Invitational on Friday. The Mount Women's Tennis Team will be at the Bucknell Invitational this weekend and our team, the Men's Tennis Team, will be at the George Mason Invitational this weekend. The Women's Golf Team will make its first trip to the Highlanders Invitational on Sunday and the men's golf team will participate in the Rehoboth Beach Invitational on Monday. And our match at Shepherd will be played on Tuesday. Remember that you can get all of your Mount Athletics news at mountathletics.com and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube by searching for Mount Athletics. You can also like us on Facebook by texting like Mount Athletics to 32665. And don't forget that the next time you're at the Waldron Family Stadium, to enter our Twit Pick of the Day contest, all you have to do is take a picture of the action and tweet it at Mount Athletics. And if, you, if you're chosen as the pick of the day, you could win a cool Mount Athletics prize. Don't delay and share your Mount pride today. Before we end the show, I would like to say that there was a lot of joking around on the show. But I couldn't be happier to have my brother Austin here at the Mount as a teammate. Thanks, Matthew. And I would like to say that no Blake was harmed during the filming of this episode. Once again, I'm Matthew Blake. And I'm Austin Blake. And, and this, this was This Week in Man Athletics. That's it. Now you're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't realize you had to read something. All right, so I just didn't I go, whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's going to work. All right. That's it. Now you're going to get it. This might be a good time for Matthew to recap this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the hillock over here. <laughs> Do you think you can pull yourself together to talk about the women's tennis team, or do you think I'm gonna have to call mom? Mike. Yes, I <laughs> could. <laughs> yeah. Blake. And I'm Austin Blake. And, and this, this was this week, week in Mount Athletics. I said the minute. <laughs> <laughs> week in Mount Athletics. Come on. And so I'll do wait. Matthew Blake again, ready? Right. Once again, I'm Matthew Blake. And I'm Austin Blake. And, and this, this was this week in Mount Athletics. athletics. He screwed up again. <laughs> <laughs> screwed and up Madden again. Austin, come Wait, on. Wait, this was this week. There's in, too many this is. Austin, awesome. let's just go. Yeah, it's week not that hard. Manifest. Ready? <clears throat> Once again, I'm Matthew Blake. And I'm Austin Blake. And, and this, this was this week in Mount Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this kid? <laughs>